Well, it feels good to be traveling around again in the bus, working on other buses. So we're here in Indiana, working on Tom Feller's bus, the guy that wrote our theme song for us back there. Uh, that's his bus. Um, I'm currently staying at our home in Indiana, uh, just outside of Indianapolis, and then driving about 20, 25 miles out here every day in the bus to work. Kelly's been able to stay at home, get stuff done over there. But uh, it's, it's awesome to be traveling again, working. We're pretty isolated here. We're way out in the middle of the country. Uh, not a lot of people around, so I'm not really worried about the virus or anything out here. And pretty much will stand to myself at home too, so. But it's nice to be on the road with the, with the work truck bus. So this side has the block off plate on it in here. So it goes on there and there's a seal there. And it keep, the seal keeps the oil from the axle out of the hub and the hub is a grease hub. So it's totally different than the other side. Obviously there's some darker color down in there. A little bit of oil has been getting into there. Uh, we'll see, we'll take it apart and see how everything is on this side. This jam nut on the outside was so tight, I couldn't get it with a three foot breaker bar. Um, so I'm like, well, you know what? I'll go ahead and use the socket with my Milwaukee, three quarter inch drive Milwaukee, with like 1500 foot pounds. Wouldn't even touch it. So I got the big four foot bar. Chris had to hold it on there while I bounced on it and it finally came loose. I think it had to be over 2000 foot pounds just for the jam nut, that's crazy. Now let's see how tight this is. Loose. Oh my god. That was really loose. I mean, I turned it almost to half a turn before it uh, got finger tight there. Now, the real question is is it going to come apart? <laughs> Are we going to have problems like we had on the other side? That was not fun. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> where the bearing comes right out, unlike yesterday where we had to try everything under the sun. Very curious what the bearing looks like though. Looks like it's had a little bit of water getting in there. A little bit of rusty color. Probably why they switch this one to grease is because there's something going on that was causing it to leak oil out and they couldn't keep the oil in it because of that. Maybe some wear on the spindle, we'll see. Yeah, that's definitely rusty. But that's how that's supposed to come off. I mean, you saw what we did yesterday. We hooked a backhoe up to it. We put a 20,000 pound hydraulic jack between it with the port of power. Ended up having to just cut it all apart. There's definitely been water in there though. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh, sorry. Great quality video. Super bad looking though, other than the rusty stuff in it. So this didn't show any sign of a leaky seal. You know, the brake drum, brake shoes weren't all oily and greasy. Um, but I just recommended to them, since I saw other ones were leaking on here, let's go ahead and change them. We're going to do an inspection anyways. And obviously the seal was leaking to let all this water get in here to turn everything kind of rusty color. Um, just something you got to do and it's, it would have been dumb to just put them back on and not order the parts so it's you know a lot of people wouldn't even have torn this apart and looked at it they would have just looked and said nope seal's not leaking it's good to go but it was obviously leaking these mcis have a retainer that holds the bearing in and there's some screws that you have to take out 
um, little impact comes in handy or you can just use you know the, a screwdriver and kind of bang it into the screw and then turn it with a pair of pliers that works too but I, I loosen them with the impact that's the easiest way and then it'll just pop off of here as soon as the screws were out this retainer just lifted right off and I'm thinking that's probably where the water was actually coming in at because I see kind of a little rust coloring underneath where the gasket would have been uh, and that really shouldn't be there so my guess is that that is where it was leaking because the seal is one of the ones that turn on the inside of itself and uh, uh, the wiper looks pretty good on it so look how much grease they put in the hub again and it's an inch and a half thick all the way around they do not need that much grease in there look at that race see a huge lip on the bottom and then it's extremely dull and kind of marred definitely worn out the insides of the bearings are super rusty it's very loose fitting too um, obviously the races are worn out, so the bearings and races are going to get replaced. I just wanted to clean these up and see how well they fit, but you can see all the, the rust on them. This is the tag axle, and it's had some water in on it too. You can see it's not brown grease. Front bearing didn't look too bad. It's over there. This tag brake wasn't working at all. Do it again. That's weird. It's barely moving, but we might just not have enough air pressure to do it right now. But you can see how rusty the drum is on the inside and dusty and it's just, it's not shiny and it's not been working at all. The other side was working. I actually tried it. And the S cam's not even been moving. You can tell by how dirty it is that there's no twist or turn. When we just did it, it moved it. Uh, the actual slack adjuster moved a quarter inch or so. That was it. And these brakes look brand new, so. Maybe they got worked on and it never worked. Oh, these pliers. Okay. Yep. There we go. That's good. Thank you. Everything looked brand new. I just bent this tab back and it's like it had never been bent before, but the wheel, the bearing doesn't really want to spin much. Very difficult. How much grease is in there? Like you couldn't possibly put any more grease in that hub. Hang on, I can't see anything. But that's crazy. Check the air and all those duels It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Well, he's got a long, hard ride In old Lenny the Silver Sides Get that bus grease monkey on the road Well, he's got that hammer down And that 47 hound It's that bus grease monkey on the road He travels all around And he's coming to your town Get that bus grease monkey down the road See that 41 
whole floor with the propped up engine door. Watch that bus grease monkey do his thing. Thirty years behind that barn, cause it don't run worth a darn. Watch that bus grease monkey make it sing. He knows in Detroit there's no doubt upside down and inside out. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in that old blue silver sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Now he's moved his family to the hills of Tennessee. Watch that bus grease monkey make his home. Bringing buses back to life with the help of his dear wife. Watch that bus grease monkey get it done. Well, he travels town to town looking on them old greyhounds. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in old Lily the Silver Sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know?